doesn't want to win the lottery? All of us surely already know what we would do with the money. But how many of us know how to calculate the probability of winning? In this video, we will learn how mathematics can help you determine your chances not only for lottery, but in any situation that implies a probability factor. Let's take the 6 out of 49 game as an example. At the 6 out of 49 game, the 49 balls are numbered with natural numbers from 1 to 49. Mr. Georgescu would like to know which probability is greater for the extraction of the first ball, that of a prime number or that of a ball numbered with a perfect square and by how much. Is it possible that the number written on the first ball that is drawn to be a perfect square and a prime number but the number to be written with two figures? To solve this problem Mr. Georgescu needs to know the probability of an event to happen in this case the appearance of the first ball represents the report between the number of cases favorable to the event, balls which are numbered with a prime number or a perfect square, and the total number of cases, the 49 numbers. The perfect squares which appear on the balls are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, a total of 7 balls imprinted with perfect squares. Prime numbers are the numbers which only have two divisors. The balls imprinted with the prime number are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47. A total of 15 balls. The first part of the problem is easy to solve because the number of prime numbers is greater than that of a perfect squares. Obviously, the probability of a ball with a prime number being drawn first is greater than that of a ball imprinted with a perfect square, because none of the 7 prime numbers is equal to one of the 15 prime numbers. The probability of a perfect square and a prime number ball is impossible and therefore equal to 0. The numbers of the balls are natural and the biggest is 49, therefore we have a number with two figures at most, no matter what, meaning that a number with two figures will be drawn at the first extraction too, the event being assured at the probability being 1. Let's recap. The probability of an event is equal to the report between the number of favorable cases and the total number of cases. The probability of an event happening is between 0 and 1. If the probability is 0, the event is impossible, and if it's equal to 1, the event is assured. 